Hey guys, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and in this episode we are not going to be doing any October CMS tutorial. Actually, I'm not going to do October CMS tutorials for about a month or two and then we'll come back to that series because I already have 45 videos. I think that's enough for now. Uh, and also I want to do something else because this channel is not all about October. It's actually general web development stuff. So you can expect some CSS uh, tutorials and tooling tutorials in the next few weeks. Uh, one of those tooling tutorials will be this one and it's going to be about my sublime text setup. Uh, there are a lot of videos on YouTube about uh, Sublime Text setups, but I'm doing this one because I'm getting a lot of questions of what theme am I using, what plugins am I using and so on. So in this episode I'm going to show you my complete Sublime Text setup, so when somebody asks me those questions I'm just going to refer them to this video. So uh, before I begin with this video, I just want to answer one more question because I'm kind of anticipating that it's going to come up. And that question is why are you not using uh, VS Code from Microsoft or Atom from GitHub? Because I see a lot of developers move to those code editors. And the answer is pretty simple. I just uh, like Sublime Text more. It's faster. It has a better font rendering. And the plugins that I tried to install on VS Code just didn't work the same way they do in Sublime. I'm going to mention those plugins and uh, the, then VS Code just didn't stick with me. Although I really like some features of VS Code uh, like IntelliSense and so on. So th those are really great features that I would like to have in Sublime, uh, but they are not a showstopper for me. So I'm just going to continue using Sublime until something better comes along. Okay, so the uh, most asked questions is of course what theme are you using? I'm using Material theme uh, and uh, currently I'm using Material Pale Knight for syntax highlighting. I change uh, those syntax highlighting maybe regularly uh, but uh, I found myself not uh, wanting to change the actual theme so the Material theme I think it's pretty great and I don't see any need for changing it until something better maybe comes along. But this theme is very, very nice to look at, at least for me. Okay, so let's check out uh, what uh, plugins am I using. So we list the packages, we have this file icon. Uh, these are the icons right here uh, that you see uh, next to my files. Then we have this advanced new file so this is a great plugin. I'm using it constantly and you probably saw it, uh, me using it in the previous videos. So let's say I'm in actor form right now. So it's movies, uh, components, actor form, PHP, and I wanna create a new file right here in components. So I would just do alt uh, command N and new file. Okay, so we have a new file right here. Okay, so I'm still in actorform.php, but now I want to create a new file in the actors folder or let's say filter movies. So I can just do alt command N and do just FI and then press tab and it's going to auto complete that name for me. So filter movies and uh, new file. And also what I can do, I can just do something like alt command N new folder slash new file and now it's going to create a new folder and a new file in it so it's pretty great also if i'm still in actors uh, actor form .php, if i want to create new file but in the movies folder so just like you would do in linux in the linux shell in the command line you can just do dot dot slash and new file so as you can see, now this new file is created in the movies folder. So the folder above it, you can of course use dot dot again, and then it would be in watch learn folder and so on. So as you can see, pretty useful plugin. Let's see what next. So we have advanced new file. We have this all autocomplete. <clears throat> I'm using this plugin 
and essentially what it does it's just going to try to auto complete your code based on the other open files that you have uh, in your workspace uh, i'm using this plugin it's not as useful as intellisense but it's kind of useful so it just kind of works for me so you have this color scheme selector uh, you can select uh, color schemes with that so okay so no previous color scheme select it i think you get this automatically with either atom or uh, vs code but with this plugin you get it uh, in sublime text also and it works pretty great okay so let's list the packages again so we have this we have this dog blocker so you can they're just uh, it's just used for uh, creating your dog blocks so you do slash star star tab and then you get uh, the field for description and if you use the uh, tab again you get to the type and to the description so it's pretty useful when you want to comment your code uh, next uh, we have egs so this is just the egs syntax definition uh, for sublime text uh, next we have Emmet so you probably saw me using Emmet a few times so if I do something like this okay so as you can see what I written there is create a div with the ID with the class of some class and then create a UL in it and then in that UL create a five so this is five li items that is going to have lorem ipsum text of five words so I just press uh, control E uh, that's the shortcut for me I think for you it will probably just work with the tab but I'm using this uh, this way so now i have this div sum class i have a ul so i didn't write this correctly actually let me just see so ul like this should be written actually okay so let's try it again okay now you have some class ul you have five li items in it and they all have this text right here so check out the emmet page for more examples because emmet does much more than just this it's very very useful plugin and if you are writing a lot of html it's just a must have okay so hayaku is similar to emmet and um, but it's for css so and it's just going to automatically write the properties for your class uh, via fuzzy search it's uh, <clears throat> pretty intuitive to use so I, I don't think i ever checked out hayaku documentation because you just do it the way you feel it should work i, I don't know how to explain it so if i want to create pairing top i would just do pt or if i do pt 10 then it's going to be pairing top 10 pixels uh, you can also do peto and it's going to be pairing top it's fuzzy search and that's why it works this way if you do df it's going to be display flex you can do something like txt tre and it's going to be text transform and so on so it's a way for you to write your css much much faster i'm using this all of the time all of the time i'm a front-end developer uh, I work as a front-end developer, so I write a lot of CSS, and uh, as you can see, this is pretty useful for that. Let's see what else. So we have syntax highlighting for HTML and mustache, uh, jQuery. These are things. Uh, these are just, I think, some snippets. You have blade highlighter. You got uh, Markdown editing. So this plugin just formats your Markdown files so they look prettier as you can see right here so it it looks kind of nice uh, let me remove this so that you can see it better right uh, so this is the text i wrote for one of the videos i also have this one so contributing so when you're writing markdown you can format the text this way 
list packages and uh, where are we so markdown editing of course this is the material theme uh, this is the monokai theme uh, this plugin is actually pretty interesting move tab so uh, you probably already know that if i go to this file right here and now i want to switch tabs to homepage.css i can just do alt command left right to move between those tabs but sometimes I also want to move the tab itself. So of course I can do something like this and move it by mouse. But uh, what I find myself doing is using this plugin and you just do Alt Command Shift and do left right also. And then you move that tab wherever you want to put it. So this is pretty useful for me because I like to stay organized that way so I, I always like to my for my html to be on the left side my css on the right side and then i can just switch between those two okay <clears throat> this is october tweak highlighter i've shown you this in one of the videos uh, of course package control support for sas sidebar enhancements is a plugin that will add a few more options uh, when you right click anything in your sidebar so it's a great plugin you should probably have it installed uh, you have sublime linter so this is the linter for sublime and i'm using js hint for it so you when you install sublime linter it doesn't work by itself so you have to uh, install plugins for it so this one is going to lint your js and this one is going to lint your json files so let me just show you that uh, if I go to app.js and now if I remove semicolon from right here, I'm just going to get an error, actually a warning because it's yellow and it's going to say missing semicolon. If I add it, it's just going to disappear. So it's a quick way for you to check if your code syntax is correct. Uh, this is the same thing uh, below it, but just for JSON files. And also, I think you probably have uh, Sublime Linter for a lot of other languages. Uh, actually, Sublime Linter plugins. Okay, so next we have syntax highlighting for CES. I don't know why I have two CES uh, plugins. I think one of them didn't work uh, correctly. Okay, so we have this space gray theme, uh, we have Twig. A view syntax highlighting these are just some snippets for wordpress and i don't know what this is so zzz a file icon i should probably re remove that but as you can see i don't have a lot of plugins uh, these plugins are enough for me to uh, to just do my job and i pretty much use all of them Maybe some of them not so much, but pretty much I use all of the plugins installed right here. Because if I catch myself that I'm not using a plugin, I just deinstall it. As I should this one, because I don't even know what it is. Now let's just check out my settings and uh, we'll call it today. So you just do command comma and you get the settings. Uh, for uh, your files for actually sublime and as you can see so I have always show minimum up in viewport Atomic save is turned to false auto indent is true and then I have this binary file pattern so These patterns are used uh, You you set up these patterns so that when you do command P and try to search for files It will not search in these directories uh, of course, you want to put something like node modules in here and so on. Do I even have it? Node modules. Yes. So you want to put SAS cache in it, uh, node modules, and anything that has a lot of files that you actually don't ever use. So bold folder labels. Okay, that's true. Carrot style is solid. So this is the carrot. Uh, close windows when empty. True. Uh, color scheme is uh, material theme pale night uh, detect indentation is set to false for some reason I don't know uh, disabled tab abbreviations is set to true I think this is connected to the Emmet plugin and that's why I'm using uh, control E for it ES version is 6 
uh, extract uh, sublime packages as can open so i have uh, extract uh, packages plugin which i didn't see in the plugins list so this is this one is used for extracting the packages and doing changes of them if you want so fade fold buttons is set to false figlet font is banner 3 i have no idea what this is i set up this for something i don't know so the font face is operator mono uh, font size is currently 17 this is just because i'm uh, uh, recording a video but it's usually uh, lower than that uh, this ignore package vintage i think you get this with uh, sublime uh, out of the box so this is uh, a package that will allow sublime to work like vim uh, so I have this in the guide options, so draw normal and draw active. Uh, line padding, so as you can see my code uh, has uh, a lot of space between it. This is what's doing that. I just like so that for my code to look, you know, breathable. Uh, then we have this, these are material theme options, so arrow folders, tab separator and so on overlay scroll bars those are enabled scroll past end of course it's true so that you can scroll past end um, skin is material theme tab says tab says is four uh, the theme is set up again for some reason so pale knight uh, try translate tabs to space uh, true ui ua ui fixed tab tab label true font size small uh, to be honest with you I, I i have no idea what most of these do uh, i know i set them up for a reason and everything looks fine to me but what exactly do they do i can't uh, actually remember okay this word wrap is just going to wrap your code so it's not going to be infinitely uh, in the horizontal space and i think that's about it so this is my sublime text setup so i hope this video kind of helped you to set up your own sublime text and i hope i showed you some plugins that you uh, maybe weren't aware of okay guys so this is it for this video uh, remember if you want to ask me questions you can do that via twitter facebook my site github and so on uh, also, please, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel if you like the content I put out. And if you want to send some money my way, you can of course use the Patreon page for that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.